Alright, welcome to Game Pause. I mean, uh, VVVVVV. Uh, just doing a quick LP of this. I'm Lionbeck, and with me I have... Hello, I'm the Juker. The other thing, I guess we never got around to uploading it, so this is the first time I'm on your channel, technically. Hello, everyone. Don't tell them about that yet, it hasn't happened. They don't know what it is. Look, I like to maintain continuity in these LPs. Well, I'll give you a hint. It, it doesn't start with the letter V. Yes. Okay, so, um... So, this game is pretty much an uh, indie game that was released... Oh god, what was this? I want to say it was like 2013, maybe? That might have been rather about 2012 or 13. I want to say. This is uh, uh, an all-trinket run, of the game right? is Yes, this is an all-trinket run. The premise of the game is pretty simple. You cannot jump. You can only, like, flip gravity to the scene. It's a very, very simple game. To the floor. Yes. Also, if you're wondering why the video looks awful, I'm playing it in analog mode. This is a special mode that... It pretty much emulates you playing this on a really old TV. It exists purely to make the game difficult. I kind of like it. Uh, I, I kind of like it, and I, it, it makes me feel very nostalgic for the old days. Not that I lived through them, obviously. But you're gonna see. You're probably gonna see in this video. There are loads of times when it screws me over. So the basic. I was gonna say oh, that I love the, uh, the names of all the uh, the rooms. Nice charm. Oh yeah, the yeah the names of these rooms are pretty good. I do like how they uh, link up with one another as well. Some of them do anyway. Like a certain one. We'll be seeing a very yeah. I love you. That's why I have to kill you. But we won't. We'll, we'll be seeing that much later on. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, as you can see, this is not a no-death run, I am not that mad. Maybe another time, but uh, when I have, when I have, when I'm rich and old and have nothing to do. But would it be a no-death trinket run? You can't really do a no-death run without getting all the trinkets. That's true. I think there's a good GDQ run out there for anyone who's interested in a no-death run. Uh, yeah, there is. I forget which year it was done, but it's it was pretty like last good. year. Well, probably. I, I always have to forget in which GDQ years of which. They, they all kind of blend together after yes, a while. We should probably also mention uh, the plot of the game is basically you're trying to save the other people in your crew. Yes, we're playing as Captain Viridian. Yes. Everyone is color coded. A color that has the letter V. Yes. It's uh, it's oddly convenient. And yeah, as we mentioned earlier, this is a all trinket run, so I will be getting all 20 trinkets in this playthrough, but uh, I won't be getting all of them at once, shall we say? Like, there's some that I missed because it, it there was some you can't get until like after you complete the game if you save people in a certain That's order dumb. and I kind of I kind of forgot that yeah there's like one person if you save right to the very end you have to like load up the game afterwards to be able to get the trinket for her that is weird game design choice yeah uh, what are you gonna do? So I got paid for this. I think this is in like a humble bundle. Is how I got it? I uh, I don't know. I think I got this and it was like real cheap, which it often is. So the reason I decided to do this LP was because um, I felt like doing it. I was not inspired by anyone. I will not hear any blasphemy. I mean, uh, slander. Okay. I mean, there, there was definitely yeah, no strings so or anything. 
Yep, no streams, no person having to do Veni Vini Vici twice because they forgot to save it. Or rather they did save it, but Steam Cloud decided they didn't deserve it the first time. Steam's been really wonky lately for a lot of people I've noticed, considering uh, the date this was recorded, I actually just tried to do a Steam stream yesterday and it just Steam was not cooperating and just decided, hey, uh, you can't do this. Yeah, I don't really know what it is. So, uh, this... So, okay, so when you go and save someone, you're kind of doing, like, mini-levels within, like, the huge area. This is one of them. This is the tower. It's an auto-scroller. There were two trinkets in this area, which involve you taking, like... It involves you going off the beat path. And they can be pretty tricky. This one is really tricky. As you guys see, you gotta flip over to that small ledge. You give you there. very tiny room for everything. Screen wrap around the side. Yeah. Don't worry, I did do anything. That's the important thing. Just not on this part. Uh, the editing for the trinket that we really needed to do that. If I only really edited things that went on for a really long time, by comparison. Oh nice, you completely skipped the platform, but it worked. Yes. Also, the backgrounds too are really nice. Don't like, uh, you just see the arrows there, it's like, hey, go here! Yeah, they're very useful. Also, this game soundtrack, excellent. It's one of the best soundtracks in video games. Yes, it's really good. It's also worth I believe the soundtrack is called PPP PPP. That sounds right. Uh, it's also worth noting though, uh, Captain Viridian here is um, one of those characters that you'll see in indie games every once in a while as like a guest character, because indie games like to kind of help out each other. I believe he was in a uh, PC version of Meat Boy. You could play as him. He plays exactly like this. Yeah, you uh, you unlock him by collecting a certain number of bandages. I forget how many. I don't think I've ever unlocked Captain Meridian Super Meat Boy, which is a bit weird considering how I've beaten that game. I 100%ed the 360 uh, version and didn't really get around to playing the PC version until the other day. Oh look, we found the... Um, uh, uh, this guy. What's, what's I, a I red V name. color? I, I, I don't... Alright, his name is uh, Veronica because that's the first name that came into my mind that has the V. Yes, perfect. So now that we've rescued, um... V oh, that's it. Vermilion. I, you know, Veronica was close, okay? You can give me shit, but it, it was pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, you can say that. Um, I always tend to have a very specific route whenever I play this game, because I did. I raced it years... I say years ago, it was back in 2013, I want to say. Uh, that back was in a, the old race days. Was it 2000? Yeah, that was a thing. I've always wanted to do a race. They're fun to do, but it's always a nightmare, like, well, it's a nightmare getting everyone's schedules lined up to meet up to do it. I can imagine. And then recording the footage, and then there's recording the footage, and then syncing it together, plus with the commentary, and then editing it all together, and then finding music. Ugh. Thank God Smite came up with a much better yes. method. I think if I was going to do a race, I'd probably do uh, something like a Mega Man Classic thing. But I guess those races have already been done with some people. Uh, quite a lot. There was like the... Oh God. Years ago, there was like... Uh, this, this was before I was on SA. There was like... All these Mega Man Classic races that they did. I forgot how far they got. I don't remember if they ever got to Mega Man 6. But yeah, then there was the more recent classic Mega Man races that Smite did. Yeah, I think uh, Psych was part of all those. Yeah. 
yeah, I raced uh, Mega Man 5, which caused me to hate that game, and Mega Man 6. Someone should race Mega Man V on the Game Boy. Conveniently, the game is actually named V and not 5, because there is a Mega Man 5, and then there's 5 on the Game Boy, which is actually a unique game. Yeah, I never played any of the uh, Game Boy let, events. Let me tell you something. The, 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 the Game Boy, Boy games Boy are games. terrible, except for 5. Uh, there, I guess it's V, like I was saying, because it's Roman numerals, but essentially, uh, the problem is that the game, well, at least, not that one, but the first four are just, oh, hey, here's half of one Mega Man game with another half of a Mega Man game, so it's like, you have, like, a Lech Man, a Guts Man, a Heat Man, and Metal Man or something like that in one of the games, and, it, and they just all follow that formula of just take two robots and then take another two robots from another game. Whereas uh, V decided it was going to be its own unique game and just have uh, robot masters based on planets and you get unique weapons and stages, so that's cool. The plot's not unique though, it's totally Star Wars, considering that Dr. Wily has a Death Star. Oh, I haven't played the Mega Man game where the plot was That's unique. a good point. Ah, yes, what nice. I was just doing. Yes. Wait. The visuals are so good though, like... I, I know I was saying that earlier with the arrows, but just like the house with the steam, or just the lies and truth. It, it's oh, all yeah, so good. They're, they're real good, it's... Very, uh, very minimalistic. But very, In uh, such a successful way though. Yeah. Uh, I should point out that when I was recording this, this was the very first time I'd ever gotten all 20 trinkets. I knew where they were because I had seen, I, I mean, uh, looked up where they were beforehand, uh -huh. yes. I definitely did not watch anyone get all these trinkets before. Yes, definitely not. Yes. I'm looking forward to that. One. Uh, so, does, uh, does getting the trinkets actually yeah. do anything? Uh, yes, but you'll see at the end of the okay. video. No, not this, not not this video, but at the the very end of the like the, uh, the last video, you'll see. Oh, here we are. We're doing it now. Ah, uh, yes. Too bad oh. you can't make a simple jump. We're gonna be here for a while, folks. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. So I did edit this down. So this is uh, the fittingly named for this game, considering all the Vs. Uh, Vinny Vidi Vici. Yes. I don't know if it actually means anything, but... Uh, it means we came, we saw, we conquered. Did you actually uh. not know that? No, I didn't Definitely know that. You do. I don't speak Latin. Is it actually Latin? I, you know what? It is. Let's just say that. Okay, good. I love well the first time that person did this when uh, they missed the uh, falling over the uh, little strip they had to get past. Remember that? Wait, did? Wait, did that? Are you talking about when that person definitely didn't do it three years ago? Yes, three years ago, and then they um, they landed on the left side and they got really angry. Uh, do you not remember that? I I didn't see that. I would that. be furious if that happened to me. Yeah, I never saw that. I never saw that stream three years ago. I heard about it afterwards, but I never actually. I was never there. It's for somewhere it. on the internet. Didn't they upload, like, a video of it on their channel? Probably. Yeah, I'll have to check that out later. Well, I really hope that doesn't happen here, because man, that would really hurt. Yes, it would suck. Immensely. Not as much as, you know, falling into spikes for an hour. Uh, 20 minutes later. You know, I was just about to ask. And we're back. How long did this take you? Half an hour. 
No, seriously, it took me half an nice. hour. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much the hardest one down. Well, that was fun. Now onwards to the rest of the game. See, it didn't take me three years. And at least we know this is saved so that people can watch this. Yes. So this means that I'm going to do horribly for the rest Absolutely. of the game. really creative how they use some of the platforms like you don't know if they break until you touch them uh, you don't know that the moving platforms can be blocked off stuff like that just that room it's, it's all really nice touches oh yeah the, the gameplay itself is very basic but what they what well what they do with it is really good so this one is really interesting because you actually can't get a checkpoint if you do uh, it says right here deception there's checkpoints everywhere, and it screws you over from getting the trinket. I think you have to. Yeah, this is. You have to get there and get back. Right? This one is. Uh, uh, yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. You pretty much explained it. You just have to get all the way to the top. You just have to fall down from the top right to there without ever hitting the checkpoint. And the the next few screens are strangely generous with checkpoints, <laughs> which is very mean. Yeah. I would argue this is probably harder than Vinny Vita Vici. Uh, hmm. Like, it's easier, but it, because it, you can't it get the is, checkpoint? It is and it isn't. It is and it isn't. It, this is more of a bothersome. Uh, it's, you're not going to die as much doing this one, but it's more, it's more annoying. Just this first room alone, trying to watch you get through this. <laughs> yeah, it, there's a certain strategy to like this room that it takes me uh, quite a while to actually I figure think out. I can tell what it is. You want to wait for the bottom one to get on the right and then go up. Yeah, like yeah, that, that worked. And then, of course, you blew it right away. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Muscle memory is a thing, though. So luckily, this gets easier to do. Yeah, but then there's the point where I forget what I have to do. With. That that was my biggest problem with Venivici was that I keep I kept forgetting which rooms were in which order. Oh yeah, and then you have to do it again in reverse. Yeah, the the the, the green room that was like straight down was the one that kept tripping me up the most because I kept forgetting that it existed. It's so easy that you're just like, oh man, where do I have to move next, and then just completely forget about it. It's like, yeah, it's like, there's one room I know where I don't move, but I never remember where it is. I probably could have edited this down, as I think probably. about it. At least getting but to the, take the next me room. half an hour. Yeah. Well, it didn't take me half an hour to do, so I didn't really think it was that bad. Listen, a lot of people watching this are probably wanting you to die over and over again. Oh, I doubt that. They've seen me play Kaiser Mario 3. Fair enough. Yeah, that was a... That was a thing I did. Let's think of that again. Jesus Christ, why did I even do that? Oh. Uh, that that room shenanigan is that's like the worst part of this because it's so, it's so easy but it the, the conveyor very belts. easily messes you up yeah it, it's like the first time I ever played this I got to that room and I thought why it's like why is he suddenly so generous at checkpoints and like years later I find out about how you actually get that train kit oh you just couldn't get it no it's like I never bothered getting all the train kits until now. Ah. It wasn't until I watched that person's stream that I found out how you get it. it interest, so uh, this game also has a no death mode where you try and complete the entire game without ever dying. 
uh, on the... Yeah, I got a checkpoint there, so I have to backtrack all the way here. Uh, yeah, on the no death mode, that trinket is completely different. How so? Or how you get it is different. Uh, the spikes on the ceiling are removed. Oh, so you can just get it? So you can just simply... Yeah. Because otherwise it would be impossible to get all the trinkets. And yes, people have completed the no death mode version of this game. It's it run. It, it's something. Uh, I think yeah, there's yeah as we mentioned, there's the uh, GDQ speedrun. It's something, all right. Ah, so close. Yeah. Uh, another thing that really chips me off about analog mode is that I have difficulty telling which way the conveyor belts are going because I can't see them. I can see them pretty well. clearly. Not when I was playing. I can understand that. Yeah, like for some odd reason, I thought that I thought the conveyor belt was pushing me towards the uh, towards the checkpoint right, instead of the spikes. At least the first room is a uh, joke at this point. Yeah, it's like I have to grind for every room. This is why level grinding is a thing in RPGs. It actually exists in real life. So close. So, dare I ask, are, are you doing a death counter for this? I don't need to. The game doesn't. Oh, well, me. that's convenient. Yeah. Here you are. I forget how many. I forget how many times that person died at the end. I think it was uh, probably uh, over a thousand, if I had to guess. Probably, I'd have to go back and check. For some reason, they don't seem to be uploading any of those streams onto their YouTube. Which is a shame because I'd quite like to see them and laugh at them. I mean, admire the suffering? Uh, their skill. Yes. Yes. That's what I meant. You know, the word of the day, everything being V, of course, is uh, villainous. Yes. Maybe I should have got villain in this as well. Is this the run? Let's see. Oh wait. I, I think this is the run. Nope, never mind. Nope, no, he isn't. Yeah, you got a checkpoint too and everything, so now you gotta go back. On the right side at least, you could hit all these checkpoints. Yeah. They call this room down. I think that's the clue is how you're supposed to do this is go down, under, and then go over and under. Because a lot of the room seems like they're kind of trying to be either clever jokes or a clue. Like deception. That's a fair point. No, that's a checkpoint. So I believe the reason you don't want to checkpoint, uh, when you hit that, it moves to the other side, and uh, if you kill yourself, the checkpoint's there, so you respawn in the same room, and the, and the uh, platform doesn't reset? Yeah, every time you leave a room, everything in, that was in that room resets to how it was originally. Nice. This is the right. Oh, finally we made it. Hooray! There, that wasn't so hard, was it? Now I have to make it back. But now I can hit checkpoints. Yeah, so this is actually a joke at this point. Yes. Right, the next person should be beyond here, and yep, here they are. This is, um... Uh, this is uh, this is Vinny, right? Yes. Uh, 
Yep, and that's that level complete. That wasn't so hard now, was it? I don't know if I'd use that word. You know, wasn't? Eh. Nope. Where are we? Oh, I forgot about this part of the game. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. But that's a story for another day.